Hi guys, I'm Ram Agarwal. You are watching my channel 52 Pixels. Let's get started. Hi guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to uh, get halftone effects in Photoshop. And also at the end, I'll show you a trick to enhance the halftones. So stay tuned. Well, this one and this one. So these are the two images that we are going to work with today. So to get halftone, what we will do first is use this image and go to filter, convert for smart layers. Now let's click on OK. As you can see, the image has been converted into a smart object. Now go to filter and again go to filter gallery. So in the filter gallery, I'll just zoom out. So in the filter gallery, we have this half tone pattern. So in sketch, go to half tone pattern. And then we have pattern type as dot, circle and line. So circle looks like this. It has circle patterns and dot i don't think so dot is quite visible in this one and then this is line so we are going to use line pattern on this image then we have the settings as well so we can select the size let's make it around four four looks good and contrast is zero if we increase the contrast it becomes brighter so let's keep the image bright and then let's click on ok so as you can see, the halftone effect has been applied and it's in the form of colors of black and white because these are the component colors that we have selected, which is black in the foreground and white in the background. We can always change those colors. So you can just tap on one color and maybe just use, um, let's say this color and for black, let's use this color. I don't know how it's gonna look, but let's try it out. We'll have to select this layer and take it to the dustbin. Now, again, go to filter, filter gallery, and we've got our effect. It looks like this. So this is a half tone effect of this orange color in the background. And I don't see the other color because maybe they look almost similar. So we'll just change that. So to change that, you can just invert over here like this and then drag this layer over here into the dustbin again go to filter and choose the last filter of filter gallery so let's see how this looks it's a bit of experimenting you have to experiment you have to try things out and see which thing looks good for your image so this is one part and let's click on ok so we are done with this for now let's go to the second image so this is the water polo player and now to change the colors we'll just first use black and white so by tapping on this color i've converted the normal colors to black and white as they were before now again go to filter and go to convert for smart filters click on ok and this is the smart object we have created again go to filter and filter gallery because we have used this pattern now we can just change the pattern type to dot in this case so this is the dot pattern type the size is too much let's make it one and contrast five or this contrast two looks good now click on ok so as you can see we have created a dot pattern the half tone effect of black and white in this image now to change the color instead of do doing the same procedure of selecting one color and then doing it what we can do is a smart trick go to gradient over here so go to effects and select gradient overlay and in the gradient toolbox you can choose from any color from basics these are black and white color these are blues color so in this blues i have selected this color uh we can select purples it totally depends on what you want with your image we have purples we have this kind of peach color then we have pinks 
even these are like cool sort of like a dual tone effect so in that we get two different tones and plus the half tone of the black and white which we have already applied as a filter and then click on ok so as you can see this image looks quite good and like this is the half tone black and white it, it looks normal but the main part is the gradient overlay it just enhances the images and it looks quite good in comparison to this one so even in this case we can try adding a gradient overlay but i don't think so because of this color it will look good it still looks good we can change the gradient color from this blue to let's select from orange or uh, let's say pink you just have to experiment a lot and see what works the best for your image and then once done click on ok well that's it for today guys hope you like the video make sure you subscribe 52 pixels and tap on the bell icon to get notified thank you